Hello, today we're going to be talking about the empirical rule. Also known as the 68, 95, 99.7, <coughs> excuse me, also known as the 68, 95, 99.7 rule. Um, this rule applies to normal data. So remember, if our data follows that bell-shaped curve, then we can apply the empirical rule. And what the 68.95.99.7 rule says, and this is in your book on page 106, okay, that 68% of the data falls within one standard deviation of the mean, 95% falls within two standard deviations of the mean, and 99.7 falls within three standard deviations of the mean. And again, this is for data sets that have a approximately bell-shaped curve, meaning a normal data set. So, if 68% of the data is within one standard deviation of the mean, and this is for normal data, that means we can take the mean And you can take your sample mean or your population mean and add and subtract one standard deviation. So this is saying the mean plus or minus one standard deviation. 68% of the data falls within those values. 95% falls within two standard deviations of the mean and 99.7% falls within three standard deviations of the mean. Now this is a rule of thumb and later we'll see the exact values but for now you can use this rule of thumb. Okay, Let's do an example. IQ, okay, which is a measure of intelligence, the intelligence quotient, follows a normal distribution with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. Remember, the first number is always the first number is always the mean, and the second number is always the standard deviation. Okay, and so if IQ is between uh, is normal with mean 100 standard deviation of 15, then 68% of the data, that means 68% of my population I can take the mean plus or minus one standard deviation. The mean is 100 plus or minus 1 times 15. So that's 100 plus or minus 15, which gives me, uh, let me write that out, which gives me between 85 and 115. So 68% of my population has an IQ between 85 and 115. 95 is within two standard deviations of the mean. So that's 100 plus or minus 2 ice, ice 15 is 30, which is between 70 and 130. So 95% of my data has an IQ between 70 and 130, and then 99.7% is within three standard deviations of the mean. That's 100 plus or minus 45, which is between 55 and 145. So 99.7% of the population has an IQ between 55 and 145. Now think about that, 99.7%, that is almost everybody. And they have an IQ, almost everybody has an IQ between 55 and 145. Very few people have an IQ above 145, 
and very few have an IQ below 55. Okay. So if I want to draw a picture, let me look at 68% of the data. Okay. So here is my normal bell-shaped curve, and I know 68 is between 85 and 115. So here is roughly 68% of the data. Uh, so here's 68%, okay? And this is one standard deviation of the mean. Now, if six, now the total is 100. Total amount of data under this entire curve is 100. If 68% is between these two lines, how much is on the outside? 100 minus 68 gives me 32. That means there's 32% of data here and here. But it's equally distributed because it's normal, so it's a symmetric. So 32 divided by 2 is 16%. So 16% of the data is here and 16% is here. So this is saying 16% of people have an IQ above 115, 85% have an IQ, I'm sorry, 16% have an IQ below 85, and 16% have an IQ above 115. 68% are between these numbers, okay? We can do the same thing for, again, here is my normal curve, and I am looking at 95% of the data. 95% of the da data falls below 70 and 130. So 95% is roughly here. Here is 70, here is 130, here is 95% of the data. So if 95% falls within those bounds, how much is outside those bounds? 5% total. So there's 5% here and here. It's a symmetric distribution, so the same amount on both sides. When we divide by 2, we get 2.5%. So 2.5% is here, and 2.5% is here. So 2.5% of my population has an IQ above 130. 2.5% have an IQ below 70. Let me look at 99.7%. Now 99.7 is pretty close to 100. So that's going to be here and here. And 99.7% have an IQ between 55 and 145. And this is 99.7% between these two values. Now if 99.7 is within the bounds, how much is outside? 100 minus 99.7 gives me 0.3%. But that's total on both sides. If I want to look at each side, divide by 2. So I get 0.15%. So there is 0.15% of the population there. And 0.15% of the population there. So this is saying 0.15% of my population has an IQ above 145, 0.15% have an IQ below 55. Now using this information, and again remember, uh, this is one standard deviation away from the mean, this is two standard deviations, and this is three standard deviations. What is the mean? The mean was 100, remember, so that's always in the middle. Okay. Now using this information, I can answer a whole bunch of questions about the, about the data. So for example, 
if I want to know what percent of my population or what percent of my data has an IQ below 85? Okay. Let me just write the questions down for you and then we'll go over them one by one. All right, so I'm just going to look at these five questions. Um, and if you need to write these down, you can pause the video and write these down. So what percent has an IQ below 85? That's the first one. So let us look at that. So let's go back to our pictures. Now, I always use the graphs because it's easier this way. Below 85, all right? OK. So here's 85. Below 85 is 16 percent. See, so if you have the pictures already uh, made, then it's really easy to just get these answers. Above 115. Let's go back. Where's 115? Here it is. Above 115 is 16 percent. Above 85. Okay. Here's 85. Above 85, that's 68 plus 16, which gives me what? Uh, 84. Is that right? 60 plus 10 is 70. 8 plus 6 is 14. 70 plus 14 is 84 percent. So think about this. Below 85 is 16, right? So therefore, above 85 must be 100 minus 16. 84. You can also look at it that way. Right? Whatever's not here is there. Let's look at the fourth one. Below 130. Where's 130? Here. Below 130. So I'm looking at all of this. All of that. So 95 plus 2.5. So 95 plus 2.5 gives me 97.5 percent and below 145 where's 145 here it is and I want below 145 so I want all of that so that's 99.7 plus 0.15 that's 99.85 percent okay so I hope the 68959.7 rule is clear. Um, let's do another example. Okay. This time I'll give you the data and ask you questions and then um, you pause the video, work it out, and then continue on with the video and check your answers. Okay. So let's look at women's heights. Okay. Now women's heights are normally distributed with a mean of 63.6 inches and a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. Okay. And I want to know what percent have a height below 68.6 inches abbreviate inches um, IN what percent have a height above 71.1 inches and what percent have a height below 71.1 inches. Okay. Now, the way I do this is um, just go ahead and calculate the 68.95.99.7 rule for this data. Okay. So don't worry about the questions for now. Just do the 68. So I know 68%. So now would be a good time for you to stop the video, work these questions out for yourself. Okay. 68% is the mean plus or minus one standard deviation. Okay. So 63.6 plus 
plus or minus one standard deviation. So that's 63.6 plus 2.5 and 63.6 minus 2.5. So you can use your calculator and just get uh, this. So 68% of the data falls within those two values. 95% falls within two standard deviations of the mean. So twice 2.5 is 5. 63 points, that's 63.6 plus or minus 5. So that is, and minus 5. So that is going to be 58.6. And that is going to be plus 5 is 68.6. Okay. And then 99.7% of the data falls within three standard deviations of the mean. Again, I'm just implying the, I'm just applying, applying the empirical rule. Okay. 68, 95, 99.7 falls within one, two, and three standard deviations, respectively. So uh, that is 63.6 plus or minus 7.5, and 63.6 plus or minus 7.5 is going to be uh, 71.1. So you can just add 2.5 here, and 56.1. Okay. So let me just box the answers or box the box the intervals excuse me <clears throat> all right now where is 68.6 that's the first question I want to answer 68.6 is here right so let me make a little diagram for this 58.6 and 68.6 95% is in the middle. How much is on the outside? We know 2.5 and 2.5 is on the outside. And I want below 68.6. So below 68.6 is going to be 95 and 2.5, which gives me 97.5%. So 97.5% have a height below 68.6 inches. What about 71.1? 71.1 is here, and 99.7% of the data is between, whoops, I just try to keep the colors separate, make the graph easier to see, and so 71.1, and this is 56.1, and I know how much is on the outside, 0.15%. So above 71.1, above 71.1 is 0.15%. Below 71.1 is all of this, which is 99.7 and 0.15, 99.85%. Okay? So I hope this uh, helps with understanding the 68, 95, 99.7 rule.